Uh, the fire is still at 10,000 acres, uh, no change in the numbers yet. I do expect that number to go up. We expect that the wind direction may change, uh, may push back towards the east, uh, push the fire back towards the east. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, I'm told that the winds in, in the uh, forge can be squirrely with whatever direction that they're pushing from. So um, we'll see what happens. Uh, if that wind does come through, it's supposed to be a lot calmer than the winds that we've been seeing uh, as, as far as yesterday. Um, so we're hoping for calm winds. Maybe that fire will just kind of uh, quiet down for the night. That'd be, that'd be really nice for us. Maybe we'll get some uh, humidity recovery and uh, have a little bit of a, a better night. We'll see what happens. Uh, we're ready for the worst and we're hoping for the best. We understand the urge to help at this critical time. While we thank everyone for their generosity, we ask the members of the pub public do not bring supplies here or to any of the locations where first responders are staging. Both emergency responders working at the event as well as displaced res residents at shelters are adequately supplied with food and water at this time. You can rest assured that if the Sheriff's Office needs help, we need manpower for some task, we will let you know through our social media pages and let you know. Uh, and I believe our friends in the fire service uh, uh, likely have the same type of vehicle to be able to do that. But at this time, we don't physically need any volunteers to come and help with any tasks. Uh, and again, the water and food, we're good on that. So we would encourage you to look at other avenues to volunteer, give of yourself, perhaps through a Red Cross donation, for example. But at this time, we're good. We don't need any volunteers.